Hello everyone, uh, today's lecture is about uh, another important uh, conceptual framework, this is observability. We, uh, we will see that observability is the same generic uh, property of the system as well as a stability and controllability. Uh, let me just correct this for the second here. So observability. Observability. Okay. So observability is generic property. Property. same as but what does it mean observable system to be observed the simplest answer is that its ability to be observed in, or in other words can we determine initial conditions from the measurements of the input and output uh, so ability to observe the states the to observe initial condition of states. And when we say that, we think as follows. We have, let's say, measurements of input and output. So we construct these measurements from the sensors so we have u of k or y of k or y of t and we order them and the question is that think about the following that we just have a measurement of the object moving from this instance in t0 to this instance in tk and we just record for example, position of the object here. And we are asking ourselves, can we using data of the position and data of the input, can we determine what was the velocity, for example, of this object? Or in other words, can we reconstruct initial conditions at t equals zero? So, in other words, this is the prime uh, question that observability poses. Uh, from the chemical engineering practice, a motivating example is usually uh, the following. If we have a chemical reactor here, where some complex chemical reactions takes place, and moreover we have a heating or cooling also so we have in other words very complex system where dca dt is a function of ca let's say cb and temperature d cb by dt is a function one function two C A C B and T. And we have a heat balance F three and again is a function of C A C B and T. However, our output measured is just a temperature because we have ability to measure the temperature here in the system. And this is only one measurement that we are able to apply. In other words, now on the basis of the knowledge of the measurement, can we actually reconstruct what is the initial condition of this reactor, the basis of these equations? Of course, our equations are linear equations, but nevertheless, this is important because 
usually it's very difficult to monitor online concentration. It's almost impossible. And if we have observability, that means that we have some way of observing initial condition. And if I have initial condition, if I have a concentration initially, I can evolve that in a certain time and get a C A of T. In other words, I don't need to measure here because essentially I cannot. But if I have observability, I can reconstruct in the real time here what is the concentration because I can reconstruct initial conditions and from the construction of initial conditions I can run the model and observe the concentrations. That is the, the core of the therefore observer design that we are going to look after. Observer observer design. So so this is this is something that we uh, need to uh, to memorize that observer design is going to be based on the observability condition. And in other words, uh, what does it mean uh, in reality? Let's look at a simple example when uh, we have the case that we observe. Uh, let's, let's assume that we have system XK plus 1. A of X of K, what actually this observability implies. And we have that uh, output is Y of K, C X of K. So this is our system. Okay, This is the model of the system. We, we just disconnected the input. Okay, So now we record the measurements. We record. So what do we have? We have that y of 0 is equal to cx of 0. y of 1 is equal to ca x of 0. y of 2 is equal to ca square x of 0. Okay, and so we build this up to y of n, which is c a n. For example, we have n measurements x of 0. In other words, we have here the n plus 1 measurements. Okay. And what is this on the right side? On the right side, we have here matrix here that is C, C, A, C, A square, and all the way to the C A N. Okay? And this is just X zero. Okay. Now we see that this is N plus one. This is one. So this is N plus one by N and this is N by one. Okay. In other words, we have that, let's just look at the matrix measure, n plus 1 by 1 is equal n plus 1 by small n, okay, this is this matrix here, and here we have a matrix of x0, it's just n by 1, okay. This implies that this matrix here, this matrix here, that is, that is here, this matrix here, and this matrix here, they're dimensionally consistent. And now we have, I'm calling this matrix here, A hat. This is X0. 
and this is the matrix of the measurements y measure so it is required that this matrix can be invertible okay so in other words we have that n is equal n minus 1 that number of measurements here is equal n minus 1 measurement so this is the required and in other words we need to have in order to reconstruct the x0 we need to have independent independent rows of these matrix a hat because we just need inversion of this matrix C A N minus one where N here is the size where small L N is the size of A. Okay. In other words, the condition for the observability is the condition of invertibility. Condition for observability. It is condition that we can invert this matrix A hat. In other words, we have the rank of C, C, A, C, A, N minus 1, it has to be equal N. So this is the condition for the observability. That is how we determine whether we have observability in our system. So we see here also what is the smallest number of the measurements that is required for the example nth order system in other words we see if our metric is 3 by 3 we have a 3 minus 1 2 measurements required to invert these metrics in other words we will have x0 initial condition and two more measurements so three measurements are essential for this okay that was all for observability and uh, in some other uh, lectures we might give uh, more examples uh, the case when we have input added it's just that we will have additional matrix here that has to uh, 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 be invertible but if this is this a hat is not invertible then observability will not hold in other words this is the the case that is uh, 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 the most general and it's required uh, even when we have an input uh, addition here in our system for the initial condition reconstruction okay